everyone, it is Monday Hair Craft Clutch, and that means it is Make Something Monday. If you happen to watch my haul video, you'll have seen the mold that I'm using today. I got it at World Market, and it was $5.99. And what it is, it has these bugs. We got a ladybug, a butterfly, dragonfly, bee, and that's it. So there's like doubles of each of them and I am going to work on the ladybug today. I'm going to do a little bit of a different technique than I have in the past and I am going to use nail polish. So the ladybug is the one that I'm going to be working on and I have black nail polish which is going to be for the head and the dots on the back. I'm using the nail polish because I have more control than I would with the resin and you certainly do not need to use your expensive nail polish for this. Go ahead and get some inexpensive stuff because that doesn't really matter. And if you need to be more exact, you can use like the liner, the black liner polish. And then I'm going to do the other ladybug because I'm going to kind of do two different approaches. And on this one, instead of painting in the black, I'm going to paint in the red with red nail polish. And you can use an you know, a metallic polish or anything like that. Or just a plain red, which is what I have. So on this one, I am taking the red nail polish and I'm just going to cover all of the wing area instead of the black. So you just need to be careful as you're going through or in between the dots and on the edge of where the head is attached. While working on this, I figured out that kind of the easiest way, because getting in between these dots can be a little bit difficult, but they're raised and so is the middle part. So all I did was drip some of the nail polish in there and it kind of ran down into those parts right in between. So that meant I didn't have to try to be so perfect trying to brush it in there because there was no way that was going to happen. So that's just a little tip, and then you just need to let it dry and do another coat. I'm back for the next layer of the two ladybugs, and what I have are these opaque pigments. I have black and I have red. So I'll do black on this one, red on this one. I think I'll start with the red one. And these are our opaque pigments. I have them linked on my website. And they're by the same makers of EasyCast, and it's made for resin, so it's not going to change things to where, you know, something won't harden right or anything like that. I'm going to just put a bunch in there, start mixing. So that was pretty, pretty solid. So I'll close that back up. Alright, I'm going to pour this one right in. Hope I have enough. And then I will do the very same with the black. Then I'll take my lighter, run it across, get rid of any bubbles. And then we'll let it sit for 12 hours. We'll come back, we'll unmold it. I'm back, it's been 12 hours, and I'm going to unmold the ladybugs. Here is the one where I poured the black in and the top was the red nail polish. It kind of even has a little marbly look where maybe I didn't get the red as solid as I wanted, but I kind of like that. I didn't expect that. So there you go, and I am going to mold the other critters as well, and I'll have a set of each of them, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them at the end, what my idea is. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Happy crafting. Remember, stop by my website at www.craftclutch.com and I will have the links to the resin and um, mold there as well in case you are looking for it. So we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks. Happy crafting.